Holy me, oh my, look at the oodles and thousands of dollars worth of stuff we need for this video. Just kidding, we're done with that. I'm a changed man. Just a few simple tools today. All we have is this melting pot, which represents my channel as a whole. It's the melting pot of ideas. So we're gonna be making this guy, but not this guy with the pink fingers and toes. Rather this guy, the guy inside him, in the little TV there. So that's Pikachu. Yeah, this is gonna be one slow video. Get back to you guys tomorrow. Yeah, good morning, gamers. Is that what people on Twitch say? Let's get this keck. We're gonna make him like this, a little bit stocky, kind of, uh, we're gonna make him fat and cute like that. But there's a catch to this project, you see. You see, he isn't, he's not going to live. Oh, I need to, where's my pokey? That's what, that's what I say when, when me and Pokemon go out on a date. Oh, mix some blood with this. The creation being made during the video and then destroyed and not existing after the fact puts more value into the video itself, therefore increasing my net worth. Oh, that is awesome. So the wax being hot has melted straight through the bag. Back in you go. There you go, there. So we gotta wait for this to cool a little bit, then just dump it out of the container, I think. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow, give you an update on how that goes. We've got four containers of Pikachu, blood, guts, and bile. Get out! Get out! It's fine, we don't need the edges, we just need the bulk of it. This is the hardest video I've ever done. There we go. Layer one is happening. Well, that was... I must have like learned a lesson and leveled up. <laughs> yeah. Sturdy enough. I'm starting to look a little bit like a Pikachu here. I'm gonna be honest, I'm surprised we got this far. Are you guys seeing this? Cameraman. Hey. Over here. All right, now we just carve this to look more akin to Pikachu. This is like one of those, uh, one of those videos, like 10 super skilled, amazing, insane workers doing their job extremely fast and amazingly good. And in the thumbnail, it's like a samurai, like a skilled samurai cutting down trees, just running through a forest, whacking them down with one slice. And then you actually click on the video and it's just some dude doing this. Now we're gonna carve this to the general shape and then we're gonna cover it in yellow. Some of you may have noticed the Pikachu's actually yellow. Oh, I'm just, I'm bleeding everywhere. But for now, this is the process. Nice thing about working with wax is you can take all the shavings and recycle them. Put them back in one of your little hot containers and they'll make a good seasoning for like a, a cake or, or a steak. Check this out. Try not to be The reason that no one loves each other challenge. Butane is a magical creation. The reason that it's named butane is actually because the guy who invented it was kind of this country bumpkin type and he was like, dang, see this fire thingy I made? She's a beaut, ain't it? Yeah, I'm very sorry for that. See, it really is a good thing we went with the, the fat Pikachu for this. Making a taller, slender Pikachu would be more work. Always use knives as hammers, guys. That should help them stay together a little bit more anyway. It's a good pro tip in real life too. If you're having troubles holding yourself together, man, steel pipe right down the middle. Now as we slowly approach the shape of, of Pikachu, which I do believe is an Ed Sheeran song. I think
think this guy's gonna be quite a bit fatter than this one. And we gotta have his little hands in the front too. He's slowly looking like a burger. <laughs> Which is kind of, I mean, that's not that far off. notice I'm not really talking all that much. I think I just want to be alone right now. You guys are always like watching every little thing I do. Sometimes I just want to be by myself a little bit quiet, but don't click off the video please. But also like, I just need to be like by myself sometimes, you know? I don't always have to be going on talking to you about Pikachu. Wax. Ooh. And Pikachu made of wax. Do some more, a little bit of detail on the face here, but most of that'll be done on the, once the skin is on. Not the flesh, this is all flesh. Oh, did you think it was wax? No, this is flesh carving. All right, set him to the side for now, and it's time to get on to the, the skinny parts. Very akin to fingers. Look at all these powdery bits. There has got to be a better way. Hey. Next on the agenda, indoctrinate our youth into our ideology. What we gotta do is get some fresh, undyed wax melting. And the skin isn't gonna be very thick, but it still has to make the whole thing yellow instead of red. We do have a yellow color. Oh, geez, wait, no, I'm actually bleeding. Look at that, see that right there? Nah, it's wax again, loser! You guys don't know it anything. It's a miracle that you were able to open this YouTube app. Oh goodness me. Just drizzle some of this in here. If he touches this, he melts and dies. Pikachu insides are actually super, super sensitive. That's part of the reason that the only person who owns one is Ash Ketchum. And myself, of course, I have this guy right here. So we gotta wait for this to cool a little bit. It's like melted butter though. I mean, I gotta try a little bit. Just kidding, you're stupid again. I'm such a wuss. All right, gonna go on a soul searching journey about that. All right, you guys recording? You good? Okay. Pot of skin. <laughs> Notice how it kind of seals back up already? Just like regular skin. There's a little more science to these videos than people really understand. Now let's just do a little, little dip. Oh, hey, can I drizzle it? I'm sure once God was making like the 500th person, he just got to a point, he's just like, you know, just start, just just start pasting that cheese on there. It's, it's too much work. Mm, cheese a chew standard, standard stuff going on right here. Normal day for me, I tell you. All right, we'll give him one last shower. There you go. Try and smooth out his back a little bit. This is another one that you can do at home if you have a really bumpy, bad back. He is fully skinified. Okay, he's got a little bit of a fever, so I'm gonna put him in the fridge for a bit. We should get the ears. Ah. Oh yeah. Nice, I like that. Sometimes your butane gets a little cheesy. Make sure you clean that off in the meantime. While I'm cleaning this, a quick word from our sponsor. Ha! <laughs> you did, you, you keep falling for it. We're gonna make a, we're gonna make a genius out of you yet. Just hang in there. You'll know every trick in the book by the end of this video. Anyway, HelloFresh delivers meals straight to your Every day I gotta come back here and re-mic up. Ah, oh, and I gotta put more gloves on too. Never forget to donate to your favorite YouTubers, guys. You never know the stuff they go through behind the scenes. And all right, so now that my chores are done, here he is. That cold, hard skin of his. Now I'm gonna try to do something that I, I really don't do that often. And that is try hard and give it my best attempt and talk at the same time. 
problem is we don't want to go too deep because then we'll cut him. We want to avoid that if possible. For his safety, not even just so he looks good. It's more about him than anything. I will complain legitimately for a moment. Like, no, it's maybe not great for me to complain because here I am just carving a Pikachu out of wax, which is essentially as good as it gets. But like for just a second, I do want to say, man, it is, it's really hot in here because of this and this. And I can't have the AC on. This is gonna ruin the, the audio quality, so, you know. When eventually the hardest working person award is given out and, and they're asking who it should be and maybe you'll think of me. Maybe you'll maybe you'll put in a good word with the big man. That that being Santa Claus. I've got all these little Pikachu crystals falling off. I think that's actually the name of a Pokemon game. Alright, stop making a I think it's this might be that joke. You've used up all five, Peter. You gotta think up something else. Why did the Pikachu cross the road to get to the other side duck? I feel like a dentist. This is kind of like when you go in there and I'm just scraping the plaque off your teeth and you're scratching the plaque off and it's still yellow underneath and that's really not good news for you seeing as your entire teeth is apparently just made of cheese. Almost looks like a statue of Buddha at the moment. I know this is kind of looking like like 15 other things that aren't Pikachu. Like it looks like something. This is the uh, Pikachu finger maker right here. I'm talking about myself, not this tool. Yeah, I mean, it's looking just like a real wax sculpture at a museum right there. Just gotta let it harden a little bit. Cool, cool. Should be good like that. Need to let that sit till it cools down just enough to do the thing. <coughs> Should be good like that. So we gotta wait again so you know the drill. We'll be back tomorrow. I'll, I'll tuck you in tonight. Come on, yeah, come on. Just kidding, you're like 50. All right, well, here's the finished product here. He looks a little funny, right? But he's like, he's kind of cute. Um, I've been struggling through the creation of this, uh, <clears throat> whatever it is, to come to full terms with his destruction. And I'm not entirely keen on this. If I could get a hold of something like an identical one to have afterwards or Time machine, maybe. But because I created him, and he's not really Pikachu, like clearly very different than a Pikachu, I'm gonna declare that this is a new species of Pokemon. And in order for him to be fully realized, and uh, in order for me to give this empty corpse life, turn it into a real Pokemon, it must be melted back into the wax of which it came. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, we'll go, yeah, we'll go with that, sure. All right, here we go. Jeez. It's like uh, it's like one of those cross section books where you can like see the inside of, uh, of a spaceship or something. No, no, I don't want. No, I'm not melting him. It's like a, it's like a, it's like it's a really special, like, uh, cross-section art piece, you know? Like, from this side, he's like perfectly fine. And then from this side, you can learn about the biology of Pikachu. And now I can just have, now I can just have a wax Pikachu. It's just a little funny looking, but I, I ain't judging. And you, sir, you got your whole life ahead of you.